I'm a Como. Well, now she knows, so. <laughs> Hi, my name is Hwang Lee. I play Mino and XP Kitty. I am Gia Kim, and we are here to play How Well Do You Know Your Co Star with Marie Claire. Mm. Come on, then. Bring it on. <laughs> you might not know any of these answers. I would be very impressed if you knew all of them. Go on, man. I, okay. feel, I feel I know a few of you. <laughs> okay. What movie did I watch obsessively in middle school? Middle school? Oh my gosh. Give me a year. <laughs> oh wait, there are options though. No? Give me some options. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you a genre. Okay. It's drama. Drama. Drama? Mm -hmm. Not even rom-com. No. <laughs> I know, this is gonna be hard. This is hard. I don't think you'll know. Cool, it's wait. not something I watched with you. I watched it by myself a lot. What? How am I supposed to know this? Wait, exactly, um... so this is hard. It's a Steven Spielberg movie. Steven we, have Spielberg. A, we have a DVD <gasps> of it. Wait, 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 wait. Steven Spielberg movie? Um, but... But, but, but... We have a DVD of it at home. Is it like drama drama? Yes. Like, is it sad like drama? Drama, like, like sad drama. drama. I don't know, like... <laughs> If it's drama, drama, then I, I can't think of it. Like, okay, it's the color purple. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yes, yeah. you were obsessed yeah. with that. Yeah, you remember? I remember the oh, film. Okay. Like, okay. I remember watching it. I can't yeah. remember if I watched it with you, but yeah, I was gonna say Jurassic Park, but like, I don't know, like, <laughs> or like Indiana Jones, but like, what's the first outdoor activity that I enjoyed as a kid growing up in Hong Kong? Ooh. My first outdoor activity. That I, How old? Well, think about my first outdoor activity. In Hong Kong. I'm not talking about running, mate. Baseball? Or, or like skipping. What? Is that your answer? No, no, no. No, that's no, your that's, that's no, no, answer. No, 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 no. I revoked, I revoked, I revoked, I revoked. Wait, wait. Baseball. So you were, you were four when we moved to Hong Kong. I'm not saying, but let's see what you can do. It's an outdoor activity that I enjoy. Most In school. Of, it doesn't matter, like, we'll see what you can say. <laughs> Ah, wallaball? Yes. <laughs> Damn it! Oh. <laughs> yeah, wallaball is a game that I played a lot in elementary school where we you, all you need is a wall and a ball, and a ball <laughs> like, especially like a tennis ball. Oh, and tennis wow. ball is like the best one because it bounces off the wall and you, the whole point of the game is you hit the ball with your hand or your palm, whatever, any part of your body. And then you hit the floor once, and you gotta hit the ball, wa the wall once, and then it has to come back to the, uh, ground. the ground. Then, then you can hit it, it again. Basically, it's like squash, but squash like with your hands. With your hands, but yeah. But we used to play some severe, intense wall balls. In I know world. you. Okay, one, one, one nil, one nil. It's not a competition. <laughs> Is it not? How many tattoos do I have? If I remember correctly, unless you did, no, I don't think so. You have the guts. Two. Er you have more than two tattoos. <laughs> I have four. What? <laughs> what? When is this like? When did you... <laughs> when did I want to tell mom, man. Like, <laughs> your mom doesn't know about this. Uh, the other one you don't know about. <laughs> That's why I knew you would get it. Well, obviously, well, okay, okay, you know what? Okay, I'm a little, I think this isn't supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to at least let me actually guess. Like, you can't. Well, now you know. Well, no, the no, no, whole no. point of this game is so that we find out new things about each other. So, well, at least, let, no, 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 no. At the same time, it's supposed to be a game where I'm more able to guess things, not like things like, Oh, what film did I watch alone that you don't know? <laughs> how but, am I supposed to answer that? Like, but you, well, now you know. And how am now I supposed to know. answer how many tattoos well, you have? You know. I, I, there okay. is one more. I don't want to know that. Okay. Like. <laughs> it's on my hip. And it's a flower. It's a, I can't remember what the flowers are called in, in English. But it says, which means. Oh, it's in Korean? Yeah. <gasps> Yo, <laughs> when did you take, when did you get this? It's, it's like last time. Oh, but it, it means, you know, when you bloom and wilt, uh, bloom and wilt like uh, this flower, which I can't, I don't know what it is in English. I'm a Tomo. Well, now she knows, so. <laughs> 
I'm gonna talk more. <laughs> I'm gonna talk more about this. It's so cute. Okay. So I, you will not get this one. Okay, let's see. What was my first job that I got paid for? I actually got paid for it. Okay, is this like a one-time thing or are you talking about a job that you did like continuously? My first job that I got paid for. It's not some kind of chore that mom gave me and I like, paid to do that. It's not that. It's okay. official shit like where, <laughs> where I actually got paid like a like, like good amount of money. I was like, oh wow. And I got paid. Mm, the internship. What internship? At the pharmaceutical company. No. 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 But it did. But it. Oh. No, we already guessed that. And okay. done. Wrong. Where is it? it? I, was yeah. I was still in school. Okay. And it was during summer, yeah. the summer yeah. break, where the counselor gave me this uh, sort of like an internship. Uh -huh. I worked in this. Um, uh, you know, so you, you, so you know, there's a lot of yachts in Hong Kong. Uh -huh. I worked in a yacht supply company, and I worked there during the during the summer. And then that's when I actually got paid a good amount of money where I was like, oh wow, like I work from nine to five, you know? I think I kind of remember. Yeah, I think it was like every day during the week. That was my first official job I got mm -hmm. paid for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is something on my bucket list I ticked off in the last few years not related to acting? Ooh, recently. In the last few years. Last few years. I think I've got, I think I know one. Because you definitely had this in your bucket list and okay. you ticked it off. So it could be m multiple answers, uh -huh. but th this is definitely one. Okay. I'm qu quite confident. Okay. Bungee jumping. And that was definitely one of your bucket lists and you did it with me. I did, but you know what? No, that, no, no, no okay. but that was one of the bucket lists. Okay, this, it I was, was, it was, was but I feel like that bungee jump didn't count as it wasn't mine. Though. What? I mean, Dude, it was scary as fuck. <laughs> like, I don't know. For me, I want to do like a bigger one. Well, you want like skydiving. Okay, okay, but not that one. But you definitely did do skydiving. So I, I okay, to... but okay. If there was another scuba diving. No, that was during. Uh, I did a lot of things off my bucket list, actually. Yeah, <laughs> see, like. But that was in Korea. That was like. Well, no, still LA. scuba diving. It was during LA, pandemic. In LA. Yeah. In LA. Oh, in LA. One school. Oh. The marathon! Yeah, the marathon! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, you trained, I remember. And I was thinking like, you, you persuaded me to do it and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, hell no, I'm not doing it. What did I have in elementary school that I loved, but had to get rid of it because of school regulations? In elementary school? Mm -hmm. Your kori? Yeah. <laughs> I got it straight away. He had like the little mouse tail hair. Oh, I can't believe I remember that. I'm so proud of myself, actually. Yeah, I was, I was like, okay, you know what? I was kind of surprised that you remember that. I, like, oh. <laughs> I got it straight away. So, so I had this like tail on my back, on my, on my back of my cute. hair. And it was like, I, I kind of like made it really long and it was like one of my signature haircuts I had. You had it for so long. And everyone, okay. everyone knew what, everyone knew me because of that hair as well. But then uh, one of the principals came into our, came into my class and said, you got to cut that off. And I was like, <laughs> and then I, as a kid, I was, I didn't really ask why. So he's, I was like, okay then. And then yeah, I cut it off. It was a bit sad, but yeah. From childhood, we were very close, yeah. um, and we really bonded over similar things. Like we would watch the same movie obsessively together. There are a lot of movies that we still, to this day, quote, and we do like quote offs. And you know, what someone would jump into a line, and then the other person would come into the scene, and then we would just rip off of each other. Like <laughs> we do that a lot, and we listen to audio books together. We, we did, yeah. dinner. We enjoyed listening to Harry Potter. Um, audiobooks and other books, yeah. No, but then especially yeah, that yeah, one, yeah. we were so eager to turn it on whilst we were eating. I think that was the far most nerdiest point yeah. I've ever had in my life. It became a ritual, and I think that's on part of our mom because uh, when we were growing up, trying to learn English as our second language, mm -hmm. listening to audiobooks and reading it along with it was a big part of our learning experience. Yeah. So I guess listening to audiobooks became a big part of our growing up. Mm. I saw the open call and then when as soon as I saw the breakdown, I was like, I'm gonna go for this character. But this character, I can definitely see my brother selling really well. So then I sent him the same thing and we auditioned from different places. I sent in my tapes earlier than he did, but then, you know, so we were kind of moving at different speeds, but then he went like really fast and he was confirmed like 
first and I had to wait a little longer before I was confirmed but we were both really hoping that both of us get it and that there was no love line story between our characters because that would not be okay <laughs> it all worked out so we're both very grateful for that that was the time when I got confirmed and I said okay you know what like worst case scenario if you don't get it then I'll give you like um, 25, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you like 25% or like 30% of what I get I'm sure you didn't say that high though Bro, I did. <laughs> shut up. Like, okay. I, got, I, I, I he gave was, he you. He was gonna give me something. I so. was gonna give you so much, babe. Like, okay. okay. <laughs> I would love to see, obviously, Minho not being a playboy, but you know, finding his true, you know, first love moment. Oftentimes, when someone is a playboy. Sure, they can be flirty by nature, but I also think a part of that comes from being hurt in the past and that's just a way of being defensive and protecting their heart. So I feel like I would love to see a character like Min Ho go all in, even if it means getting hurt in the end. Yeah, I just want to see more of Yuri and her mother and her father getting along together or showing some um, some good moments there. Like, like warm family moments. Yeah, rather, yeah, rather yeah. than the most um, typical, like, oh, rich families have bad relations between the parents mm. and the son or kids, whatever. But yeah, I just, I just want to see uh, a happy moment from them. Yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching. And make sure you check out Exo Kitty on Netflix if you haven't already.